CPU Galaxy. Welcome to this chip rating video and today with a very special 486 CPU from Intel. We are talking here about the slowest version with 16 MHz. It has the type number A80486SX16 and a spec code of SX548. Please consider that the rating is exactly for this particular CPU with this spec code. Yeah, the Intel 486 is a higher performance follow-up to the Intel 386 microprocessor. The 486 was introduced in April 1989 and was the first tightly pipelined x86 design as well as the first x86 chip to use more than a million transistors due to a large on-chip cache and the integrated floating-point unit. Yeah, it represents a fourth generation of binary compatible CPUs since the original 8086 of 1978. So one of the main differences to the 386 is of course the 8KB of first level cache, which was a huge step into a future of much more processing speed. And anybody who switched in 1990 from a 386 or a 286 to a 486 system knows exactly what I'm talking about here. This SX model here with the lowest available clock speed of 16 MHz was released in 1991. I could not find any information why there is such a slow version existing and for which application it was used for. I think I read once this version was just produced for one computer manufacturer, but I'm not sure about this. If you know more about it, please leave me a comment below. Then let's move to the rating. From the historical point of view, the 486 in general deserves 4 points. The whole family was very successful at all fields of applications and the 486 changed also the way of gaming with one of the most famous games, Doom. I will decrease it for the SX model with this low speed to 3 points, cause 16 MHz were for sure not responsible for a nice Doom experience. Yeah, technically, I will rate the CPU also with 3 points. As I mentioned already, the 8KB of cache was a huge milestone. With rarity we are here at 4 points, these 16 MHz versions are not very common and there are just sometimes a few around on eBay. And even the one with the spec number SX548 is harder to find. And on the scrapyard I never found a 16 MHz version so far. The value of this CPU I can rate also with 2 points, it will be definitely hard for you to get one below $50 in good condition, if the seller knows what he is selling. So $50 to $75 is a fair price. For the look I will give here 2 points, ceramic chips are nice and solid compared to any plastic crap which was used later on. And here I will give them an extra point, because 16 MHz for a 486 is ridiculous slow and somehow special. I think I will do once a 386 versus a 486 video if I will ever find a socket 3 mainboard which supports 16 MHz. So at the end we have here a CGCR of 15 points and this brings this CPU to the lower level of very collectible. Yeah, we had here definitely an interesting CPU, which many of you, I guess, did not know about. Details of all published ratings you can find in the link below, which leads you to a spreadsheet. Please subscribe my channel if you like the video. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.